Not with that specifically. I mean, while we're on the topic of the NHL marketing being bad, we can stay pretty pretty on that focus in terms of um, if you take a look at um, the digital marketing ads, mar- or the, di- the digital ads we've got going on around the ringside borders now that's being implemented this year. Um, this is something that I don't remember this person because I, I, I definitely watched a ton of the 26, uh, 2016 uh, World uh, Cup of Hockey. Um, and apparently they tested the digital border ads in that tournament. I don't really have a memory of that. If they did do it, they did a good job, if I don't remember, I would assume. But uh, we do have those coming in this year. And I would say my take on that is similar to the Jersey sponsors, where if it's out of sight, out of mind, in terms of I don't want to notice them, I don't want to know that it's digital. If I can't tell the difference between a physical border ad and a digital one, they're doing a great job. People are concerned about the the camera tracking and if it won't uh, be as sticky as obviously a f- physical board. It's not going anywhere, a physical ad. Um, but we might have problems with the tracking on these here. But if we don't, it doesn't bother me one bit. And um, same idea as last episode, if it's making the NHL more money, which you have to assume is the main reason why they do these things, then yeah, that's cool with me. You're dying Maybe you got any... Uh, what am I dying for? You're, you're dying for the cap to go off, huh? I saw the Leafs um, cap report. You have what, $6? We'll get into that. Was $4, $6. Like that four, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and they're not, they're not the only team. Um, well, they are the only team in the single digits, but there's a couple other teams that are real close. We'll get into that later. Yeah. But Anything like, on the border ads? Yeah, I got something. Um, I actually, um, like, I watch a lot of soccer, as you guys probably already know, but um, soccer has moving ads or digital ads. Soccer is a much slower game. Soccer's yeah. camera angle is actually wider than hockey, right? In the sense that, like, you have a more bird's eye view of it. Like, when I play NHL, for example, I, I like to be in there, <laughs> the top of the building. I want to see everything, right? So the go, my point with this is that if you're closer up and you're going at that speed, there's a chance that looks a little bit awkward. Um, there's also the instance of it affecting play. So... Like, I watch Bayern Munich quite a bit, and there's this player that you see from the team named Thiago. And so he's in the middle of the park, and he has the ball. And one of the advertisements, this is around Christmas time, where it was a Santa Claus truck, like, on the ad, and it would run it, like, across the digital ad. You know what I mean? And it was, since it's Santa Claus, it's obviously wearing red, the same shirt of the Bayern shirt. So he thought that it was the, the right back or left back making the run. So he literally, like... Obviously, he passed it to no one. Yeah, he, basically, like the the guy on that side collected it, but it actually affected play, and that's the mm. one instance that I remember it. I, I gotta show it to you guys after. You guys will see it, and you'll be like, "Wow, that's actually ridiculous." Credits to him for having. The I do want to see that. So, how was yeah. Santa Claus's touch, though? <laughs> <laughs> the real questions. Dave's asking the real questions here because hey. He's got a good touch. He you dummied know, the ball, bro. Does he have a Canadian citizenship? We can get him on the Canadian team for the World Cup. Maybe, him, and, right? him and Davies on the flanks, man. Uh, it's going to be a lethal <laughs> lethal combination there. I, I don't want to... Actually, that's yeah. not true. Davies plays up top. Davies might be hurt. Yeah. And I, I, ironic, I, I ironically also think that um, it was on Davies... Like, I think Davies is the guy who collected the ball from that. But oh, boy. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys the, like, the clip after. Or maybe I'll... You know, if copyright strikes don't like take it down, take this bot down. But um, like Tiago literally like checks in for the ball in the middle of the park, and then he like he's expecting movement, obviously, right? And then the Santa Claus just comes in on the ad and makes a run, like a beautiful run down the touchline. But I don't know, it, it impacted play, and I, I'm not cool with that. When you start having situations like that, it just it's distracting. One and two, it can actually affect the game, and that's obviously it didn't have. An amazing impact, but it still almost gave away possession. So for him to see the ad, the way the way that you explain to me, I'm trying to figure this out in my head as well. Um, are you are you saying then the digital ads in soccer, like how is the player seeing that on the field? Because I think the way that it's working in the NHL, at least, is it's just like a broadcast thing where the players are gonna have no idea what's going on. Is it that I think in soccer? Don't they have like the sliding kind of advertisements yeah, where like rotates and yeah, or, or is it something boards. else? They're all the video, video boards. In, um, the video boards, in, okay. In soccer, yeah. So, so I'll I could speak on that. Um, uh, so what I've what from what I've heard is in stadium in arena uh 
ads are going to be like one thing. So maybe they're looking at putting out a cheaper cost for some companies because it might not be seen by, you know, everybody watching at home. Uh, and then the ads around, uh, sorry, the ads on broadcast will be, um, it'll be for the television audience, basically like the, the everybody yeah. in the stadium won't be able to see it. So I like from, I agree from what, from what you're saying, Brian, but it is just going to be a little bit different because we can't see the, like they won't be able to see the ad. So you won't, I don't think you'll be able to see anything like that. But from what I heard is, um, you know, the, the actual broadcast might get interrupted at points. Like I wouldn't be surprised if we, if we at some point see within a couple of months instances of it not working perfectly. Like, you know, maybe the puck might get caught up or we lose track of the puck for whatever reason. So I, I think, I think on that note, maybe we give it a little bit of time before we start jumping down, you know, um, everybody's throat at the end of the day, it's, it, it is a very, um, it's a very effective, uh, moneymaker for them. Uh, let them make their money. Honestly, I, I'm still on that sentiment. I, I'd rather, you, I'd rather you put the, like another odd on the back of the jerseys behind the numbers or something or underneath the numbers or something like when you guys see this, like see this clip that I'm about to show you after you guys will be like, okay. Like, it legitimately does not make sense if it impacts play. And it, once it impacts the product at core, that's where I have an issue. I'm always going to be for the players making more money. Don't get me wrong. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And, like, I can just see this going wrong. Especially when it's co a contact sport like hockey. And this one a millisecond distraction, boom. You're on the floor, on the ice. It's just, you're taking chances. You're, up, you're opening up Pandora's box. And, I don't know, like... Think of it like this. You're driving down the highway and you see those big giant advertisements um, down the highway with like the digital ones, right? I don't know the yeah. statistic if it's caused an accident or anything, but you know, you guys know down Highway 7 um, at Islington? You guys know that, that's, that hill? There's a TV there now on a mm -hmm. hill. Yeah. Like, that you're just asking for trouble. And I know this is like covering apples and oranges, right? But I'm not big on opening Pandora's box when it comes to distractions, life, and safety. Yeah, no, I could, I could definitely agree with that. Maybe, I'll have to see the implementation before we have like our full-on opinions. Like they've said, probably giving it a bit time. 100%. Maybe something we we uh, revisit later and kind of give our reviews of what we think is going on there. Or maybe like another way, if you wanted to put like an ad, I know that some teams already do this, but like, um, like I don't know. Red Bull power play or like um, Powerade power play for the night or something like that. Stuff like that. I, just, I think a lot of teams do have that yeah, implemented. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if every team does, but yeah, I feel like the Leafs is probably, I think it's been Tim Hortons one uh, at least sometime before I've is got. It, uh, is it not Scotiabank now? Or is that maybe, I, maybe it is something else? I put my point. Oh, is, you might be right. My point is, is there's always, always a way to sell advertising and yeah, there's a right way and wrong way though. But anyway, 